While the current web is largely based on text, images and video, the new era of the web is expected to be based on 3D virtual spaces linking together in a perceived virtual universe. In other words, it will alternate digital realities where people work, play, and socialize. You can call it the metaverse, the mirror world or the AR cloud. We'll be able to put on VR headsets and see each other in 3D at meetings, sitting around a virtual table. It'll feel much more like we're actually in the same room together in comparison to a Zoom meeting, and that will make it much easier to relax and communicate as expected. In practical terms, we can say the acceptable metaverse doesn't exist right now. However, what does exist is a number of exciting new technologies, which in theory will gradually join up and form the building blocks of a future metaverse. What will be the main way people can exchange goods and services within the metaverse? Exactly, digital currencies. Many of the new metaverse platforms are powered by blockchain technology, using cryptocurrency and non-fungible tokens (NFTs), allowing a new kind of decentralized digital asset to be built, owned and monetized. The most known of them is Decentraland Mana. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. To understand the Decentraland Mana well, let's discover this amazing, evolving world together. Decentraland is a completely decentralized virtual world. Decentraland users can buy and sell digital real estate while exploring, interacting, and playing games within this virtual world. This amazing network also provides opportunities for in-world payments and peer-to-peer -peer communication. If you like to explore the world, you can visit its website on a browser. Then, create an avatar, give it a name, confirm your legal age, accept the TNCS, and the digital world is yours. Once you are in the virtual world, you can go for a walk wherever you want, or use the map to teleport to reach a specific location. Now, you can create your digital version, you can customize it in a number of ways. Choose from a range of facial features such as eyes, smiles, or hairstyles, and also define your style by wearing your avatar. You can also customize your avatar by giving it a unique name. Once you have the perfect avatar ready, you can explore the virtual world. Did you heard about Game 5? In other words play to earn economy, using which you can earn by gaming. Etherman is the one of the examples which is a monster catching role playing, play to earn game. Here, you can buy Etherman NFTs and battle with other users. Decentraland would be the Etherman battleground. Decentraland has Wonderkaist in a similar category, it's based on buying a collectible dragon egg, NFT. And use the dragon to interact in the virtual gaming world, which has many quests and musical performances. You can even create games on your land by using Decentraland software development kit. Two different types of tokens govern operations in Decentraland. Land and Mana. Let's have a look at these a little bit deeply. Land, a non-fungible token, NFT, used to define the ownership of land parcels representing digital real estate. The main difference between them and Mana is that they are ERC 721 tokens, which makes them non-fungible. This is essential to understand the logic. NFTs can not act as cryptocurrencies, you can use them to build unique items like avatars or unique pieces of land. Mana, a cryptocurrency that facilitates purchases of land, as well as virtual goods and services used in Decentraland. It is an ERC-20 token compatible with other tokens in the Ethereum network. You can buy goods, services, and parcels of land in Decentraland's marketplace. The platform uses Ethereum blockchain to store information and maintain ownership records. Every transaction that happens in Decentraland gets validated through Ethereum smart contracts. To sum up, Decentraland has been growing quickly because it's also an NFT marketplace and it is a virtual reality platform for users to take full ownership of their digital real estate. Essentially the owners, you can buy land, play interactive games, trade and experience virtual reality in many forms. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about Decentraland Mana? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button 